guys so as you may notice we have a new setup so we have new new lights we have new background we have a new background lights we have we have improved our channel because i see the channel is growing we have an immense number of 460 subscribers last week it was only 400 thanks for that guys if you're not subscribed to my channel and you like my videos click the like and subscribe button and i will appreciate that to make more videos and also youtube will appreciate it to push my content more to the people thank you for that guys um i want to talk about the latest cryptocurrency news why because there's a lot of stuff going on we have the interest rates we have binance ceo is leaving and we also have sony is building his own blockchain so let's check out the first news sony makes blockchain moves as japanese firm flew to web3 space so what we can read here in this news article we see that sony wants to build his own blockchain network um, what I also saw was that they will we will jointly develop Sony's blockchain with Sony as Coinbase based layer 2 mainnet grows. The Sony network will have the potential to surpass it and become the world's top project. More details will release in time. I think this is very great, guys. What we see the last months and also the last years is um, when we started in 2017 with the bitcoin and when, when it gets mainstream a lot of companies says no no i don't want to have anything about uh crypto or bitcoin or it's a scam it's a scam and now we see since the last bull market we see a lot of companies getting in into web3 games a lot of big game studios getting into the web3 space also a lot of big brands also adidas last uh, launched his own nft collection some uh yeah months ago not some months ago it was in 2022 from out of my head so one year or one two years ago they launched their own nft collection and many more companies will come and are also already in three web3 space so this is great uh first become the latest and growing line of japanese firm throwing their hats into web3 blockchain metaverse and nft rings earlier this month watchmaker and electronic giant Casio announced it will be launching an NFT line for its G-Shock watch line. So another big company is coming to Web3. Uh, I like to see this because we are growing. And what we also saw was CoinX crypto exchange hit by a 28 million exploit for hot wallets drain it. Um, what we saw is on September 12th, CoinX, a cryptocurrency exchange, experienced a suspense attack following a substantial outflow from our four of its hot wallets. So, yeah, this is, wow, 28 million is gone. And this is not nothing. Like, I'm really curious what will happen to the exchange if they have enough funds to recover the losses. Um, yeah, what can we say? I also saw uh, an article that the same guys who hacked Stake uh, are behind this hack too. Yeah, so on the, on the Twitter page of SAC, it appears North Korean is also responsible for the 54 million coin X hack from yesterday after they accidentally connected their addresses to 41 mils, million stake hack on Optimism and Polygon. So what we can see here is like the stake hacker transferred funds to another stake hacker wallet and also sent 180,000 um matic to this wallet and it's the same wallet that the coin x hacker used so uh we can assume that the north korean hackers are also responsible for this the next part i want to talk about is binance us ceo brian schroeder departs exchange to cut one third of his workforces this is very strange because uh cz uh the founder of binance is telling everyone there are no issues and some Saw some debates in the community. When you're doing the right thing and there is fat, you don't have to do anything. The community defends you. Let me summarize. There have been a lot of negative news rumors, bank runs, lawsuits. Guess what? We don't have. No liquidity issues. All withdrawals and deposits are properly handled. All customer funds are safe. Um, yeah, it can be it can mean two things. Like they can they can be safe and they are avoiding. To be in problem and that's what the reason they want to cut out uh one third of the workforces but it's strange that like many of the binance uh core team are leaving too so i'm not sure what is going on there but i want to say to you guys 
keep your funds safe and don't store it on your wallet. Please have your funds on a MetaMask wallet uh, because you never know if an exchange is like blowing up. You, you don't know if an exchange can, is blowing up because who expected the FTX crash? Nobody. So please be safe. Have your funds on a MetaMask wallet or a trust wallet. I don't care. It, it don't need to be a exchange wallet. Another big thing that was happening yesterday was the US inflation rate. And it was not bad, but not good, but it was going, yeah, it's almost the same. Let me show you the numbers. What we see is the USB CP core and they expected a month on month of 0.2. And what we get was a 0.3. And year on year, it was an expectation of 4.3. And what we get was a 4.3. So it's not that bad because only... This one expected was to be higher. And uh, also this one, the last one, they expected the year on year was 3.6, but it was 3.7. So it could be bad. It could be worse. Like it was not that bad, but people hoped it was less because maybe the Fed will decrease the interest hikes. But yeah, so we will stay the same. Uh, I think we stay the same, but... Uh, let's see um, in the next meeting because the next one is in November 1 and they expect a 60% chance of staying the same but also 40% almost 40 37.3% of increasing the hikes um, so um, yeah let's see like the coming months will be very important for Bitcoin because we also in September right now and in September you know it was one of the worst months of the Bitcoin history. Almost every month was like red. I want to show you the chart. So in this chart, we can see like September, the history of Bitcoin is was since 2013, we only have two positive months. So that's not very good, but yeah, we also see in this month, it's, it's a little bit stable, but not, not positive at all. Like, but if you look at October, we see a lot of green months. 40%, 27%, 10%, 47%, 15%, 33%, and only two months of 3.8 and 12.9. So I expect that most people will hop in, in into this in October because they think what other people think. So they think other people will also think that October will be a green month and a lot of people will maybe follow in. So this is great. Um, I have another thing that I want to talk with you about is... FTX received court approval to liquidate its crypto holdings. They have a green light to sell 3.4 billion worth of crypto assets. Bankrupt cryptocurrency exchange FTX has been approved by the bankrupt court to liquidate its crypto assets worth of 3.4 billion. Just like I said before, guys, keep your coins off exchange. Use it to buy, but don't have it storage there because you never know what happened to the exchange and when it happened. You are too late. I want to show to you what kind of coins they have. They have a holding of Solana. It's worth of $1,162 million right now. They also have Bitcoin, $560 million. Ethereum, $192. Aptos, USDT, Ripple, Bit, STG, and Rapid Bitcoin, Rapid Ethereum. Um, but what I also want to mention is that they don't do it in one time. So they don't click on Max and push it on the market they do it every now now and then so uh, let's see how what the frequent what the frequency will be of this i want to thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button and le also let me know in the comments what kind of videos do you like do you want to have more project videos do you want to have videos about bitcoin do you want to have more news about in the market let me know in the comments what kind of video you want and i see you in the next one bye bye